is force well force is a push or pull applied on an object for example you can see skateboarders pushing on the surface to move forward so this is what we do generally while applying force so today we are going to solve question and answers from the chapter force and energy we will be solving mcqs then fill in the blanks then correct the statements short answers and long answers from this chapter so let us immediately start first question tick the correct answer and first in that list is we are able to stay on ground because of options are gravitational force elastic force buoyant force frictional force so what is the correct answer how we are able to stand on the ground well that is because of gravitational force so let us tick option a which is gravitational force let us see next question a screw jack used to lift a car is a options first class lever b pulley c second class lever and d is screw so what do you think is a correct answer well this name itself suggests a answer it gives you a hint of answering this question okay so the answer is you might have guessed it right the answer is screw okay so screw jack is a type of is a type of screws okay let us move on to the next question the most readily available source of energy is wind energy solar energy geothermal energy water energy so what do you think is the correct answer right solar energy solar energy is most readily available source of energy our next question is the upward push of water on a floating object is called the options are buoyant force volume density pressure so what is the correct answer right buoyant force okay so the upward push of water on a floating object is called buoyant force okay let us see next question our next question is fill in the blanks and first is most simple machines make use of a dash force the answer is mechanical force then second is there is no dash force in space the answer for this is gravitational force third question simple machines change the dash of the applied force the answer is direction fourth question a moving car possesses a mechanical energy due to its dash the answer is motion and fifth is an inclined plane is a dash which makes work easier the answer for this is slope well the next question is change the underlying words to correct this statements the first is a stretched rubber band regain its original position on being released because of gravitational force is it right of course not it is not correct the correct statement is a uh, stretched a rubber band regain its original position on being released because of elastic force so the answer is elastic force second question geothermal energy is a non renewable source of energy correct statement is geothermal energy is renewable source of energy because we can renew it it is not a limited source of energy third question the pulley used for drawing water from the well is a movable pulley is it right no it is a fixed pulley fourth question simple machines make our work complicated definitely not simple machines make our work easier what is the next question we are able to walk because of elastic force the answer is we are able to walk because of frictional force okay students now comes right short answers and first in that list is name the different types of forces here you will write muscular force mechanical force elastic force gravitational force frictional force are the different types of forces what are simple machines here you will write simple machines are tools 
we use to help make work easier and third question why is geothermal energy referred to as a renewable source of energy well geothermal energy is a renewable source of energy because water is replenished by rainfall and heat is continuously produced inside the earth from where does most of the heat energy come well the answer to this question is most of the heat energy we use come from burning fuels like coal kerosene and petrol then name the four different forms of energy here you will write mechanical energy heat energy light energy and electrical energies are the different forms of energy now comes a long answers so first in the question is what is liver on what basis are livers classified here you will write a liver is a simple machine consisting of a beam or a rigid rod pivoted at a fixed hinge or fulcrum livers are classified by relative position of fulcrum effort and load well the next question is what is an inclined plane how is it useful for us here you will write an inclined plane is a slope or a ramp example a ramp used by workmen to push heavy load on wheels up into a truck then ramps for wheelchairs ramps to load luggage onto a plane an escalator slope is such as side of a hill which is a natural inclined plane the roads in the hills make longer distances but are easier than climbing straight up so you can see how inclined plane are useful to us then third question does a screw join two pieces of wood better than a nail how well it is true that screws have a threaded shafts hold better in a wood and draw boards together much more tightly and they have a greater tensile strength compared to nails then uh, screws also do a better job of holding tight during the wood's natural expansion and contraction and so screws are better than nail then what does the law of conservation of energy state well energy can neither be created nor be destroyed energy just changes from one form to another the total energy of object never decreases or increases that is what we call as law of conservation of energy so let us see the last question how is wind energy more environment friendly than heat energy here you will write wind en energy is a renewable energy source using wind to produce energy has fewer effects on environment than many other energy sources then wind turbines do not release emissions that can pollute the air or water they do not require water for cooling wind turbines may also reduce the amount of electricity generation from fossil fuels which results in lesser air pollution and carbon dioxide emissions heat energy on the other hand comes by burning fuels like kerosene coal petrol which release harmful gases leading to air pollution so students that was all from my side i hope you understood the answers of these questions if you have any doubts feel free to ask you can put your comments in coming box okay students so let us see new chapter next time until then take care bye bye